Can you guys see me? Okay. Hey y'all and welcome back to a new video. My name is Anna. I am your host up here. And if you're wondering why we're standing in front of my closet, I'm gonna tell you in a second. So this video is about what I wear as an au pair. I think sometimes it is really hard to work with kids, look appropriate, but still feel good with what you're wearing. And so I want to show you and give you some tips what I do here to still look cute and like find myself in every piece, but still be appropriate to work with kids to be able to bend down without my butt. Can I say butt? I think so. Without my but coming out and so yeah i'm gonna give you all the advice everything what i figured out over the past three years and yeah i will put you all the links down below so you can either way shop it or just like look at it if there's something that you like oh that's cute i want it so i would say let's go so i already talked about that in my packing video but leggings are every girls i mean guys can wear leggings too but leggings are just a game changer leggings are awesome i always buy my leggings either way from tj maxx or i order them on amazon the leggings called colorful koala i will put you the link down here my host mom actually got me into it and uh they're just really really nice because they don't slide down i think you all know this when you wear leggings and you like run around or bend down or do something else that they're gonna like slide down and you have to like do this all the time those don't do that at all. Uh, Lululemons are awesome as well, but they're really expensive. And I will say this probably more and more in this video, but make sure to wear stuff that it's okay to get either way dirty or even like broken. Because the thing is, you are working with kids. You're maybe on the ground constantly like robbing around, chasing the kids, or just like someone spills something on you. You don't want to wear your best Sunday clothes because if it gets dirty, it's kind of your fault, if you know what I mean. Like you can't really expect your host parents to like replace a really nice coat or a really nice pair of jeans or something if you wear this to work. And I'm not saying that you're not allowed to do it. You just have to be mindful about it. If it gets dirty or if there's coming like, I don't know, paint or something on it, you have to be okay with it. So if you're like, oh, I don't care, wear it. But I mean, we all have those type of clothes where we're like, well, I'd rather not have kids' hand and grease and milk and vomit all over me. So to just leave that clothes for your weekend or whenever you're off and then show off when you're off. Okay, so here are one of my favorite leggings. Um, they're from Airy. It's kind of like a sister brand from American Eagle. And they have like this cross thing here. And then they are flared they have like those bell bottoms everything comes back i remember i think my mom was wearing those kind of leggings and everything comes back so don't toss it out just keep it but yeah those are like one of my favorite leggings and like you can just literally put on a cute sweater with it or just like a cute top and you're gonna look so adorable the fabric is really nice and they're not see-through so even if you bend over you can't see your underwear your kids can tell like oh it's pink today so those are really really nice they're from area i can put you the link down below they're a little bit more expensive i think those were 60 dollars but everybody has them right now and uh, <laughs> they're still on so when it gets a little bit warmer i can suggest those uh those kind of like biker pants do you call that like that I don't know but you know what I mean like those shorts but they're like no booty shorts like you can't see your booty it's not gonna flop out and it gets like me not not really but like on your thigh so I can suggest those they're gonna look cute either way and then you can like put a nice top on or even like a sweater if it's a little bit chilly but those will not show you booty and they also don't slide down as well like they're pretty good on your waist and they're I think from TJ Maxx yeah since I'm living in South Carolina and I mean if you have been here you know how hot it gets and I mean I think it's gonna start soon in March and this is why my wardrobe is like more a little bit more sportive more athleisure wear because you need something breathable because it's you you sweat so much it's not even funny okay here we go tennis 
skirts. Those are amazing. I bought them on Amazon. I think they were like $15 each, a little bit more, but I mean, come on, that's great. And they have like those shorts underneath and then this little cute skirt. And then they have like those little ruffles right here. They even have pockets. I mean, hello. So I have them literally in every color. I have a ton of white and navy blue and black and pink because I love pink. So those are amazing because you can do cartwheels in the backyard with your kids. You can do every activity without being afraid. Oh my God, no, I can't do this because I'm going to show everything down here and it's coming out. No, those are breathable. Those are like literally for tennis, for sports, but you can do everything with your kids and still look cute. And then I like to combine it with like a sportive t-shirt. This is from Use Only and it zips up all the way. It can be a little bit tricky um, because you don't want that your kids are just like zipping you up and then you're like, hello. So um, be mindful if you wear clothes like that. I hate to say it, but my kids are kind of used uh, to me wearing those kind of stuff so they don't necessarily play with my zipper. But um, just be careful if you wear stuff like that that zips all the way that you might as well get a surprise. But you should be fine. Another thing, um, if your host parents are in kind of like a country club or in a pool club or something, I like to wear uh, sometimes those polo shirts. You're always appropriately dressed if you wear a polo, um, just because you have like your little color here. And I mean, you can do nothing wrong with a polo shirt. And I love to um, combine it with those pants, actually. They kind of look like a skirt as well, but they have pants underneath. And it looks really nice if you just combine this with a um, polo shirt and you are well dressed for a pool club, for the country club. And that's really, really important because sometimes they have a, a really, really strict dress code. And if you just show up in a polo, no one can say anything against you. So that's a really good advice. If your host parents are in those clubs, maybe get one or two polo shirts and you should be fine. Then we have those two beauties right here. Those are one of my favorites. My host mom actually got me this one for Christmas. And this is basically a tennis dress works the same way they come with those uh shorts um so you can just put on the shorts and then the dress over it i have no idea where my white one is i have to find it but it is so so cute and guaranteed you're not gonna sweat but you're gonna look so well dressed it's gonna look so cute and you're gonna feel good about yourself because you can wear a dress but you don't show anything I also want to talk about swimwear and just like bathing suits in general. I know we girls have our like really cute bathing suits we want to wear and show off because they're so cute and from a nice brand. But you have to know that you're here to work with kids. And if you go to the pool with your kid and he's like scared or like afraid to drown or something, he will hold on to you, obviously. And your job is to protect your child. And so you can't be like worrying about like, oh my God, like my boob comes out or it, it's gonna open and flops away. And like, you know what I mean? So make sure that you wear something that in case your child holds on to you or like even like messes around with you, you're not naked you know what I mean like maybe put on a one piece or something cute and there's a ton of stuff out there which is so so adorable you're still gonna look cute I promise you and if you're worried about your tan lines you can just go to the beach on the weekends and wear your bras and then you're gonna be fine so here are two of my favorites I have this little one it has like a really cute pattern on it and the other one I really like is this one it's just black it has like a little zipper here, but it doesn't like really open that easily. And so, yeah, I mean, black is always a great idea. Do you remember that in school when your teacher helped you and like leaned over you and like you had their hair in your face? If it bothers you, it will bother someone else. So just put it up. I don't know, do like a messy bun or like a ponytail or like even that you can just like toss it back and it's going to be fine. Um, just make sure it's not necessarily ki the kid's fault if they don't do it on purpose, if they grab your hair. 
So it is kind of like your job to plan ahead and think, oh, yeah, maybe if your baby is really grabby, I'm just going to put my hair away. I also have to say dry shampoo became my best friend here. Just like in a rush or I don't have time to like wash my hair every second day. I just use dry shampoo or I'm using hats. So either way, like one full one. Oh my God. Have you guys seen um, Vanderpump Rolls? If not, go and watch it. It's so good. And then I have this one, it's open on the top and I kind of like use it when I uh, go playing golf or tennis or something. And yeah, so hats are always a good idea. So the next topic I want to talk about is shoes. Um, I had so many situations that I either way had to like tie my shoes and the kids were already gone or that I forgot my shoes downstairs or had no socks. So plan ahead and maybe put like a pair of socks in your bag or something and always make sure you have like one pair of uh, shoes downstairs so you can just like boom and you're ready to go. It also makes sense to like use shoes where you can like literally just like slide into also look at those shoes my um roommate and wonderful new old pair Lorene um made those so she hand painted those shoes and I mean guys aren't they so awesome but so what I wanted to say is it makes sense to have shoes where you're like literally just like slide in because then you're good to go and don't have to tie your shoes and be like oh wait for me and the kids are like on the other side of the street so I always try to like use shoes with the kids where I can just like boom, ready to go let's talk about bags so it is really really important for me personally to be okay with my stuff getting dirty for me it is really important that the kids know they can come to me with whatever, whenever, and don't have to be afraid of like getting me dirty. So um, that also speaks for my bag. I have my nanny bag and I'm gonna show you in a second, but it is kind of gross because there are like crumbs from snacks in it and some like last time one of their juice boxes popped up. And I mean, I obviously washed it, but that's the thing what I'm trying to say have a bag that you're like okay with being dirty a little bit you have seen my nanny bag but i mean you see like it's it's gross and dirty and i washed it but still like it's a bag it's fake but it does the job it gets the job done and it helps me to like put all the stuff all the diapers all the juice boxes everything is in here and yeah i much rather put this in the wash and stuff like ruining like one of my favorite bags then another thing, if you're like me who is blind and you need glasses, uh, make sure you have maybe like a second pair. Oh my God. <laughs> so I just thought about it. I sent all of my glasses back to Germany because I was like thinking I would go back in August. Okay, so fingers crossed y'all that no one will break my glasses. <laughs> But what I was trying to say is make sure that you maybe have like a second pair, a backup pair of glasses in case your kids grab your glasses. Because sometimes it does happen that instead of the hair, they grab your glasses because it's right in your face. And I mean, you all know when you have glasses, they're kind of sensitive. So make sure you have like a backup pair. The same with uh, with like jewelry or something. I have like my little Tiffany um, necklace here, but it isn't really long. So the kids can't really grab it. And it's also like a really strong chain. So it doesn't really break. I have like rings on my fingers, but that doesn't really hurt the kids. But I don't necessarily have like a lot of jewelry on me. If it breaks, I'm not going to be like devastated or sad or it like... The worst thing is to be mad at your kids because it's not really their fault if you wear that certain stuff to work with your kids, if you know what I mean. So um, it's not fair to them. So just like if you have a nice bracelet or something from with your boyfriend, like those like little things, uh, don't necessarily wear it when you're working. If you say, I don't care, great. Then I love to get my nails done. It's something that makes me feel good about myself. When I shake someone's hand, I'm like, yes, I have my nails done. But uh, for me personally, so right now, so right now they're like way too long for me just because I don't want to poke someone's eyeballs out or when I have to like change their diapers or like clean them, I do not want to have it under my nails, period. 
so i always try to like keep them short and maybe like uh, file them in a form like my, right now they're like kind of like round so i'm not hurting anybody or myself so yeah my suggestion is if you like to get your nails done don't go crazy on them don't do like those long like nails where you can like touch anything the kids don't care how your nails look like and I promise you that. And if you're like me and you're like, oh, this is really important to me, get them done, but be mindful with it and have like a little bit shorter than usual maybe. With this video, I just want to give you ideas on like how you could do it. I am not here to tell you, oh, you're not allowed to wear makeup. You're not allowed to dress like this. This is not what I want. I just want to give your ideas. What I figured out over the last past three years as being an au pair, what really works. Because if it comes down of like getting the kids out of the house, doing this, doing that, you already have to be prepared. You have to be the person who is already ready to guidance your kids through it. You have to be like, okay, the back is already packed. It's in the car. Let's go put your shoes on. You can't really be that person who's like, but I am still in my jammies and I need to put on my shoes. There's no time for this, at least in my family. So I always have to plan ahead. I always have to get ready earlier than everybody else to then be helpful and prepare breakfast or make their like babas for Kiki for her school or pack her backpack. And now I'm really glad because Lorene is here too. So we're going to share those um, kind of activities and like do it together. But still, we have to be ready earlier than everyone else to help them to get dressed to eat their breakfast, to do their hair, everything what has to be done in the morning. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to give you some little tips and ideas on how you could do it. I mean, obviously wear whatever makes you comfortable and talk about this maybe with your host parents if they like want you to wear athleisure wear or if they're like, oh yeah, no, we don't care if you wear like crop tops or whatever it is talk with your host family about it. I'm here to be your host up here. And if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me. Here's my Instagram. You can always DM me. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and I will put you the links from the clothes down below. So if there's something that you're like, oh, I really want that, feel free to tap on that link and check it out. And yeah, I would say that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. Thank you for your support. And I can't wait to see you next Sunday. Bye.